So while everybody's out there trying to build $500 chatbots and basic automations, there's a group of entrepreneurs out there quietly building AI infrastructure businesses, pulling in 50, 100, $300,000 a month. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through 10 of the most profitable AI automation industries that you can potentially go into and sell high ticket AI automations and infrastructures. So here's the thing that most people don't get about AI automation. The real money isn't in building the workflows, it's building the infrastructure that threads multiple workflows together. So think about it, why would you rather sell a shovel when you could sell the entire gold mine. So instead of building a simple workflow, you stack multiple workflows together that talk to each other into an infrastructure that not only generates them more revenue, but saves them a bunch of time. Two of the main value adds that you can help a business with. And today I'm gonna to break down the top 10 most profitable niches for AI automation and infrastructure businesses today. And this is super important because there's no point in targeting an industry when they're not used to paying premium prices. So before we get into the good stuff, if you wanna know how to build AI agents and discover new tools that I'm using in my business and for my clients, then make sure you hit that subscribe button below and like this video because that's the only kind of content we produce here on this channel. And my goal right now is to get to a thousand subscribers. So just clicking that button would really help me get closer to that goal. So with that being said, let's head over to my laptop and I'll show you these 10 profitable niches. Let's go. So the question that I keep seeing on social media are people talking about how to stand out in the AI automation space. Because as you know, there's a lot of people talking about it and there's a lot of builders out there. And often these people have seen tutorials, spent time learning the tools, but they don't fully understand how to market themselves. And the most important thing is to get very specific on who you serve. So you've got to pick an industry, a niche, and a problem to solve to get your foot into the door that is then going to give you the opportunity to build more automations and build out that infrastructure for a client. So I hope that's sinking in. You need to pick one niche and be the best. Once you start making a name for yourself in that space, once you start getting case studies specific to that industry, you're going to be very difficult to ignore. And it's the one thing that a generalist is just not going to have. If you're building, if you're building automations for agencies, for e-com stores, for local business, sure, you might have some good case studies and that is definitely useful. But if you're going to specialize, especially if you want to run ads, it's so important to get the most out of your ad spend by getting specific. And so what I've created here for this video are 10 profitable AI automation niches. I've done a bunch of research to figure out what kind of clients firstly have the budget to spend big money on automations and second have expensive problems that they want fixing. So the first one, and it's no surprise, law firms, right? Did you know lawyers spend over four hours a day reading contracts word for word, right? They missed one detail, the client could literally lose millions of dollars. So we've got a few ideas of tools and solutions that you could create to fix this problem because a lawyer's time is billed by the hour. So if they're spending time reading contracts, that's time that they're not able to bill for, for clients. So we could build a secure solution that reads 100 page contracts in five minutes. It highlights important dates, risks, checks against the latest laws in their country automatically. And so that's then going to send the document to the lawyer who's then going to scroll to the important parts that they need to focus on and it's going to save them a whole bunch of time. So a law firm making half a million dollars a year saves 200 hours. That's $50,000 saved. Find them an extra three clients per month. That's 30,000 more in income, probably a lot more for some lawyers. So you could have a tool that finds expired contracts that, that uncovers a bunch of extra revenue for the client. So there's lots of different possibilities with this market. I'm just throwing out some ideas. 
please do your own research and figure out what is going to be the best approach for you. Uh, but you can find a lot of law firms on LinkedIn. You can offer a free contract check. You could create um, a pretty basic SaaS that they can sort of try out themselves if you want. Um, but the, at the end of the day, you can charge 2,500 upwards per lawyer, right, per month. Doctors, right? We all know doctors make a lot of money and especially in the US, right? Where insurance is a massive headache. So nurses are spending th three hours a day arguing with insurance companies. One in five claims get denied for just weird reasons. So you could have a solution that auto films insurance forms perfectly every single time. Something that might predict high risk claims that might get rejected and also sending reminders to patients about bills and things like this. So a clinic with five doctors stops losing $12,000 a month in denials. Nurses see eight more patients per day, which is an extra 7K extra per week. And so if you can cut denials down and increase the amount of hours the nurse is working, then they're gonna make a lot more money. Right, the whole point of helping a business is to either help them increase how much money they're making, so get them more clients, or help them save time. And, and that's what AI does really, really well. Again, there's lots of clinics on LinkedIn. You could also go locally and find the clinics in your area. You could offer them a demo or some kind of trial, uh, charge them $3 per approved claim or some kind of performance related fee and 2,500 upwards per month for this one solution. And remember, when I'm going through every potential option in this list, this is a foot in the door technique. So we can go in there, build some trust, get them some results, and then be like, hey, let's look at the other problems you've got in your business and let's build out a much more integrated system that again is gonna make them more money and save them more time. Real estate agents. Now, real estate agents, they get a lot of leads, but they lose a ton of leads because they're very slow to follow up. And they often miss phone calls. You know, if somebody's, you know, if somebody's showing someone around a, a property and their phone goes off, they're not gonna answer it. So this is a solution that I build for, for companies. It's a speed to lead AI chatbot that responds to leads immediately with a personalized response. It qualifies the lead and then books them in for a call with the real estate agent when they're available on the calendar. We can also score the leads based on the qualification criteria and how hot they are. And an agent selling $5 million a year gains 12 extra deals. That's 150K in additional profit. And obviously real estate agents, they're not working nights. They're not staying up all night. So having something that answers the leads late at night is extremely valuable. Again, you can find these agents on, on LinkedIn, on Google, and you can charge like a, a low monthly retainer, like 500,000 bucks a month, but charge them a performance fee per appointment and potentially a percentage of the sale. And number four, insurance agents, you know, they, they're typing all day, they're going from spreadsheet to spreadsheet, document to document. Um, it's, it's a real hassle. So you can do a bit of a deep dive and figure out what some of, some of the other problems this industry has. Um, it's all to do with filling out forms, comparing different plans, uh, setting, sending renewal reminders with best prices, following up with leads. These are all things that you can drill down on. Uh, an agent writing a million dollars a year in policies, if you save them 15 hours a week, they can close five more policies a month, which is an extra 8K commission. So again, you can find these on LinkedIn and you can create some kind of video demo of the system that you've built, charge them per application and a monthly fee. Car dealerships, number five, cars are expensive. They get good commissions and it's a similar problem with this industry when people are trying to get in touch with them once the dealership has closed, right? So this whole idea of speed to lead and nurturing those leads out of hours, it's extremely valuable. And so having a chatbot that knows all the specs of the cars, it has, it's been trained on a specific sales system. 
and it can book people in with the sales team at the dealership at a time that works for both parties. So a dealer selling 100 cars a month gets 15 extra sales, that's 45K in additional profit. So you have every right to charge 10% of that. So four and a half K just for setting up this kind of chatbot. And again, this is just a foot in the door to build out the full infrastructure. So you could charge 1500 per month per location, right? 10 locations, 10 and a half K a month. A dentist, okay? A system to fill empty appointment slots, right? A third of dental chairs sit empty every single day. Receptionists, they can't chase everybody, but if you had a system that auto dials patients with openings the next day, text them discounts for last minute spots, that could be extremely valuable. So a dental office filling 10 extra slots a week, 6K more per month, right? And if you're also able to reduce the no-show rate with text reminders, again, it's gonna make them more money in the long run. And again, you could charge $50 per filled appointment plus a monthly retainer of two to three, maybe even 5K, depending on uh, the, the practice. And if they have multiple different locations, again, that could all stack up really nicely. Number seven, roofing companies, right? Roofers often lose bids because they take quite a long time to measure and quote. So if you had some kind of system that could analyze satellite photos for measurements or to gen automatically generate quotes in 10 minutes, text the homeowners with the 3D roof image, you know, it's a pretty complex solution, but could be pretty killer as a SaaS. Um, so if they win 30% more bids, they save 8K a month on manual measuring they could make a bunch more money per year and obviously have to cut down on the time they spend doing the measuring and putting in the bids. Again, you can charge per quote plus a monthly retainer. The gyms, getting members to stop quitting, right? That's probably the biggest thing that gyms face is people sign up in January and they end up quitting by March, April, right? So we could have some kind of system here that text members after three missed workouts, sends them 10 minute workout videos, offers $10 for a referral, and, and that's gonna help build their business. You know, people, you know, they don't wanna go to the gym on their own, so if they bring a friend, they give the friend a discount, everybody's happy, the member is coming, and they've also brought another friend, so that's more revenue and a longer term set of clients. So you could charge $2,500 a month or more for this solution. Uh, restaurants, you could, get them to turn tables faster. So predicting busy times using weather and events. You could text the waitlist customers when tables are open. So if they're open earlier, you can get them in. And um, we can send uh, coupons, right? Um, during slow days. So if you're able to fill up the restaurant with more people when they're not as busy, it's gonna mean more revenue for the restaurant and ov obviously, and then more revenue for you. You could take a percentage of the coupon sales and you could charge a monthly fee. This last one I find super interesting. I don't think many people are talking about this. Uh, schools, right? Private schools charge a lot of money for tuition. And so they often waste a bunch of time calling parents about missed payments, right? And also bringing in uh, new students, right? That's a huge thing. So if you had a system that automatically follows up with parents about payments, easy payment plans, um, and also setting up a referral system. Maybe if there's another kid that they know who is not in the school or somebody new is coming to the area that they know, uh, that could be a, an interesting referral system. And also some kind of lead reactivation, right? If they've had people apply to join the school but they never actually joined, then those are gonna be people worth following up again when they're opening registration for the school. So again, you could charge a pretty high-end fee uh, three, five K upwards for, for something like this. But yeah, I just wanted to run through that because those are just some of the, the ideas that I came up with as I was doing the research. These are all companies and businesses that have money to spend, right? And just a small saving for these guys and a small increase in their sales could mean a huge impact on their business. And if you're just taking a percentage of that or a decent monthly retainer, then you're gonna be someone who they wanna keep around long-term. But the key here is to, to pick one and stick with it for at least three to six months. 
right? Because you've got to try different angles and different offers to figure out what kind of messaging is going to work with that market. So if you found this video useful and you want to learn how to build AI agents and use a bunch of cool AI tools that I use in my business, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So just clicking that might not be much for you, but it means a lot for me. Um, if you want to hit the like button, what that's going to do is get this video out to more people so more people can get this information and actually get some clarity on how to grow an AI automation business. So that's going to do it for today. My name's Tom. This is the AI Growth Lab and I'll catch you in the next one.